Hi, uh, Casey from Charlotte. Can you tell me how you weigh front-loading enough capital on the first initial purchase or two versus being more cautious and spreading purchases out at the risk of losing on upside? I mean, I can't. Uh, once we, we start buying, we, we're going to buy. Um, and, and like Buffett said one time about, like, you know, we don't trim, uh, that's also true with us. Um, so it, it, it's a question of just, like, getting the best price overall that we think we can. So it has to do with liquidity and availability that we think is out there in the market uh, and to be how aggressive we are with it. Yes, yeah, so I really don't want to buy into something unless I want to uh, – I'm committed enough to make it a 10 percent position. So if it's uh, something with a catalyst in the near term and there's enough liquidity, I might – do it very fairly quickly. Um, otherwise, you know, I guess something that has been kind of longer term holdings, I might buy in at five percent or so, and then kind of look for a dip. Um, and you know, if, if I guess you're not seeing that, I might might nibble a little bit along the way. Uh, but I think it really depends on the situation. And um, you know, when you're committed to something, you know, to, to Jeff's point, sometimes you just just buy into it and, and go with it. You know. I mean, it's a really good question. It's probably that this is what I'm worst at in terms of being able to size because I have a tendency to, but I'm trying to change my process to improve on it. I think it really, as Steve says, depends upon the business and the business model you're looking at. If you if you have a business that's very, that, that potentially can have a lot of volatility, it's probably better to start out smaller and sort of see what happens. But if you're dealing with a company who's sort of a compounder over time, like an example, Ash Teed's a perfect example. So I bought Ash Teed in 2018 or 19. I mean, it went through COVID, and I'm glad I bought it and didn't sell it during that time because the business, if you can find these businesses that are growing, they'll grow through this volatility. And if you can get confident in the growth, I think that's where you can really have this kind of approach where you buy it up front and you know that the business is growing. The underlying growth really at least helps me to feel comfortable that I don't have to sort of do this incremental kind of approach, which if you really try and – there's so many other things to be concerned about. If you're, if you're trying to time these things, that makes it even more, more, more challenging over time. I don't know. That's, at least that's the way I've looked at it.